All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Mephakwadash. The Bible of the Apostle knows the great most dope teaching to us, one sent truth, according to the Bible well, and peace and blessings, love for like of the nation of Israel, they do the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. We want to get into the Lord's will and the final lesson on uh, prayer, you know, and the, import the importance of prayer. Not only the importance of prayer, the power that we have behind uh, us crying out to Yah by Shema Shai. You gotta understand when we pray, we're praying to Yah by Shema Shai. We're praying, you know, to the Heavenly Father through our mediator, uh, Yahweh Shai, who's making intercession for us, you know, and making sure as our prayers get back to the Father, you know, and that our prayers are heard. And the Lord is answering brothers' prayers, you know, as long as you send them up. You see, and uh, you got when you send those prayers, you gotta have faith that the Lord is dealing with you. You know, now's the time that we should be praying. You know, getting that relationship with Yahweh by Shema Shai more than ever. You know, you praying, that's you staying close uh, to your power source. You see, this is uh, Luke eighteen and one, and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. So the parable that Yahweh Shai spoke unto the men, unto you know, unto us, the believers that will later hear this word, word over two thousand years, that we are always to pray. You see, always praying to Yahweh Shema Shai, constantly sending up uh, those prayers to the Lord. You know, throughout the, throughout the day and the morning when you wake up, before you hit the uh, bed, you know, brothers should be praying to Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, praying for uh, strength. Praying for healing, protection, praying that this kingdom uh, gets destroyed uh, speedily and swiftly. You know, we should also be praying uh, for the brothers, you know, those who are going through the same afflictions, you know, and worser afflictions than you that are around the four corners of the earth, you see? And he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. And that's what this world is about uh, causing you to do, to faint. You know, for you to get weary and weak, you know, and stop calling upon the name of Yahweh Shema Shai, for you to stop trusting in the Lord. You know, that's what, you know, that's why Yahweh Shai said, what? You know, Satan has desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. You know, look at that word sift, it goes into an inward habitation. You see, so to annoy you so much to where you're at the point of overthrow and you want to give up. But Yahweh Shai has prayed for us that our strength fell not. You see, so if Yahweh Shai was in the mindset of praying for, uh, you know, his brothers, you know, his friends, his believers, his followers, his servants, then we ought to have the same uh, mindset to pray for our fellow uh, laborers in this thing of ours, you know, the, 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 the fellow believers, you know. This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 4. Verse 7, but the end of all things is at hand. Yeah, the end of everything is at hand. You know, whether it be, you know, uh, you going to the job, you know, clocking in to your 9 to 5, that, that's about to come to an end. You know, you uh, uh, all up in your woman, that, that shit is about to come to an end. A time like none other is about to come to the planet Earth. In the, in the end of this age, you know, it's about to come to an end. And Yahweh Shai, you know, he's the, his, his kingdom... His rulership is the beginning of it that followeth, you know, so now is the time to really build up that connection with the Lord, you know, even more so uh, with the time of our salvation draw nigh. You see, First Peter 4 and 7, with the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober, you know, so we're supposed to be a clear minded you know, clear-minded, you see, having our eyes on the prize, you know, when you step before the throne of Yahweh by Shema Shai, make sure you know, you know, just be rambling, I mean, don't be losing your train of thought, you know, it's a fight, but, um, you gotta be sober-minded, clear-minded, you know, not caught up in the affairs of this world, if you're always worried about uh, pleasing the flesh, you know, that's gonna get you, uh, destroyed, you see, you gotta be sober-minded, clear-minded, and this truth, you know, a taste of reality will really sober you up, knowing that all hell is about to break loose. You see, these things should sober you up from that 
party immersed spirit to be in the more of a solemn spirit. You see, a spirit of being serious. It says, and watch, be therefore sober and watch on to prayer. You see, so we're supposed to be watching, you know, watching on to prayer, you know, as we watch, continue to pray. Because ultimately, I was telling, I was talking to one of the brothers out here in Charlotte, you know, part of the Carolinas. And uh, we were talking like, yeah, I mean, we're chilling over here. You know, there ain't no mass really mandate. You can walk through the grocery store without a mask. You can, um, you can do all of these things, you know, without the passport. But, you know, in certain states, in certain places in the world, you know, things are heating up. You know, and that's the Lord working. But if you're not watching, you know, you're going to uh, get disenchanted to think the Lord isn't doing anything. You see? So it says, let us watch. Uh, uh, let us watch on to prayer. So as we watch, you know, we got to continue to pray always. You see? And uh, I'll close out on that. This is uh, St. Luke 21 and 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always. So you got to continue to watch and pray. You know, so pray. You know, the how about your mouth shy comes back swiftly and speedily, and you'll see your prayers being answered as you continue to watch. You know, of course, you know, brothers have different ailments and things like that. You might uh, want to pray for it. Hey, just have faith, you know, and know that the Lord is with us. You know, this morning, I'm not going to get into it. The Lord showed me that he was with, with me. You see, just different uh, uh, testimonies that brothers should be gaining in their day like day lives through you praying to Yahweh by Shema Shai, through you talking to your power. You know, scriptures talk about how the prayer of the humble, it pierces the clouds and, 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 and is not slacked. You know, and that we will not be comforted until the Most High begin to execute judgment upon the earth. And the Lord is all about comforting his woman, you see, which the elect on this side. You see, so he's going to come for us, you know, by him executing judgment upon our enemies. You know, you're reading that Luke 18, which I'm right here. I got a little bit of time. This is Luke 18 and 7. Shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear along with them? I tell you, he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall you find faith on the earth? So, nevertheless, you know, it may seem like the Lord, you know, isn't uh, uh, moving fast enough. Nevertheless, the Heavenly Father is going to avenge His very elect. And we, when He returns at His appearance, we must have kept the faith. You know, and you prove that you have faith in Yahweh by Shema and Shai, by communicating with Him, by sending up those fervent prayers. And, uh, you know, casting your burdens on Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, that's what we need to do now uh, more than ever. Make sure we're casting our burdens upon the Lord. This is um back in St. Luke 21, 36. And it reads, uh, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. So those are some of the uh, qualifications that you must have in your character, some of the characteristics that that you must be able to check off the list when Yahweh by Shema Shai examines you and searches your uh, searches your mind to see what your intent is, to see what you're already about, all you know, see what you're uh, all about. You see, you gotta have the spirit of being watchful, you know, being vigilant. You see, you got the spirit of constantly praying. The Lord knows all of those that trust in him. He's gotten your phone call. You know what I mean? We have a, a, a line straight to the heavenly father. You know, you see, through you have a shot, our mediator. So that's power. And we want to be able to be accounted worthy to escape these uh, upcoming judgments that are fastly approaching upon the world. The war, evil, the pestilence, you know, the famines, the uproars of the people. You know, one people fighting against another. We want to be able to be hid during those times. You know, we want to be account worthy for the Lord to uh, cause us to escape. But the only way we're going to be able to be called to escape, you got to watch and pray. You know, uh, judgment is going forth every morning. You know, by Shema Shai is constantly bringing judgment upon uh, this wicked and simple kingdom called America. It says that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. 
in the stand before the Son of Man, you know? And we want to be able to stand before the Son of Man, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and hear that hear that saying, Come up hither, uh, thou faithful servant. You see, that's what we're looking for. So we must continue to fight, continue to endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, how else are you going to get through it but by prayer? With that, I'm going to say,